Hey Alvin, how's it going? It's Shami with uh, Southtown Chrysler. Just want to send you this little walk around video, man. This is going to be on our 2013 uh, Dodge Ram 1500 quad cab you inquired about. Um, now I did some digging onto the uh, the previous history on this one and it's a one owner with no accidents, man. So actually I myself was a little surprised because you know, any vehicle you might have a little bit of a fender bender in its history, especially on a 2013, but this one checks out big time. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little walk around on this one, man. Now, obviously this is going to have that nice chrome uh, grill in the front here. You will notice that there's a little bit of a paint chip just on this side here, on the side of the fender. Um, and one little nick right here as well. So you kind of see that little small little dent there, that little scratch. But other than that itself, it's actually in really nice shape, man. And these tires too look in really, really nice shape. Lots of tread. So I mean, that's an investment that obviously you don't have to worry about. And they are Toyos. So they're really nice brand, right? So really nice brand. And, and some that I kind of liked about this truck too, um, was even if you're kind of looking at the uh, the bottom portion here. So you see this has got actually the rock guard protection. Uh, so obviously it's very durable, man. It's very smart that the customer kind of did that on the lower fascia on the on both sides. Uh, kind of keep things nice and clean, especially for any kind of rock chips. Um, but other than that, just kind of looking at the side here, I do see one little kind of bubble right here, just kind of in the paint and, and right here. So, I mean, obviously a little bit of condition with, uh, two, you know, 213,000 kilometers. Uh, but overall, man, like, I mean, this one's in really nice shapes. I have seen some uh, even newer ones with lower Ks that come in a little bit uh, banged up. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you can't even look at the side box here, like you sometimes you have these little small little nicks and, and dents. This one's got just a few, just on the side here. But it's even hard to kind of even see on the actual, uh, on the actual, um, on the video, right? I hope it can kind of show it. Kind of get a little bit of a glimpse there. There you go, like literally, just very minor. Um, one nice thing about this one too, it's, it'll come with an extra tire in the back, man. So that's a nice add on. Uh, it does have a spray and liner in the back here too, brother. So obviously keep your valuables kind of in check and uh, and in place. But other than that, man, I think the only other real notable issue I can find is one little small dent right here, just on the passenger kind of door handle. Um, I mean, you have a few little small nicks and whatnot. Obviously it is a black vehicle. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, stuff like this, like even with some hand polish, uh, you can make that about 80, 90% better pretty quickly. Um, and then let's see here. I think we have one little small one just on this fender. So one little dent on this fender. It's just really on the inside, pretty minimal again. Now on the back end here, you are set up with a tow package, which is super nice, man. Uh, tow package, and that includes the wiring as well. Now this one on the back, let's see, has one little ding right here, just on the rear tailgate area. And then a few little small scratches up here as well. Hopefully that can show it. But yeah, man, other than that though, if you actually look at the side profile of the, of the truck itself, it actually is in really nice shape. A few little scuffs right up here. And there's one little paint chip right here. So obviously a lot of that stuff is just aesthetic, man. And you know, it can be touched up with like a paint pen. Um, and you will notice this does have the stock alloy wheels too, which is super nice. But I'll kind of show you the inside as well. Um, it is nice and clean in here. Obviously you just uh, got, a, got a quick detail, but when we do deliver these vehicles, they do get a full detail. Um, and then other than that, Headliner needs a little bit of a quick clean, but I mean, obviously kind of with that detailing company you have, you can probably get a, a good estimate of kind of what kind of cleaning uh, it needs, right? Um, now on this side, it is nice to know you have auto touch, one touch windows for the driver and passenger. Uh, it is a manual adjustment for the seat on this side. Um, and again, it does have the bench seat up front, which is really nice. So essentially all it needs is to just be lifted up and you can kind of accommodate six people in here. But other than that, here, I'm just gonna hop in really quick. 
So one of the first things I like to do, man, is I like to blast the air conditioning, right? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we did have those 30 plus days and you never know if it comes back again. Um, so you always want to make sure with used vehicles that they do, uh, the AC is fully functioning. Um, sometimes they do need a recharge, but I can guarantee that this one is blowing pretty ice cold. Uh, so the AC and everything works very well. Now this one, although it does not have the Bluetooth uh, that you mentioned, uh, it does have your cruise control. Um, kilometers on this one right now, we're sitting at 214,704. Now because this one literally just got out of the shop just the other day, you'll see there's an engine light on. Obviously I'll uh, review the inspection with you and I have already viewed it, it is clean. Uh, so that would just be a small little uh, uh, air code that they would just have to take out. So they could take that out for you, no problem. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, really nice vehicle, man. The sound system in this one, I mean, obviously it's not gonna be, um, you know, like a, a full Alpine system, but it doesn't sound bad at all. Now it might not be the music, but you know, I'm just going with whatever's on here right now. Um, there are I'm just gonna see if I can adjust the um... Oops. Yeah, I was gonna change the bass a little bit, but yeah, it actually sounds pretty good, man. But again, obviously something that you might want to have is a little bit of a project to kind of update the sound system if you'd like down the road. Um, but again, overall, you got some USBs in this little glove box here as well, nice and deep. But what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to put this uh, steering wheel up a little bit. I'm going to actually drive this one and give you kind of a virtual test drive. Now you will notice that when it comes to the actual windshield, it does have a little crack just at the bottom there. So literally it's kind of hard to, to view but it is just at the bottom now i'm just going to turn this down a little bit and just go for a little bit of a drive around my lot so yeah man i mean this one is actually pretty quiet surprisingly pretty quiet it definitely handles nice and tight no clunks when it comes to any kind of, uh, you know, suspension or underbody. Yeah, man, this one actually drives really nice. Yeah, it's a pretty stress-free drive, man. I mean, steering handle's really tight. Even on the... Um, kind of brakes brakes feel really nice and even the steering too like you know how some vehicles will feel kind of loose and sloppy this one actually feels really really tight i think these tires are actually upgraded too uh from the stock ones that would come on it so definitely lots of tread man those toyos do hug uh the roads pretty well especially in the winter time uh winter time anytime you kind of have those really nice uh mud and snows of a of obviously a nice quality brand uh, like Toyo tires. I mean, it's it's going to be really nice uh, when it comes to the winter time. Um, and obviously, I mean, just say if you're not, uh, you know, it's summertime, you want to save some fuel. It is nice to know that you got that two wheel setting too, right? So I'm just going to drive this one around really quick. I mean, there is tons of power in this thing. Let me park this one right back here. Pop that in reverse. Alrighty. Okay. So yeah, Alvin, here's a truck, man. I mean, one kind of notable thing too, it does have a tow, uh, tow haul mode on this one. 
um, which is really nice, but uh, a little bit of shelf and, and storage in there. But I definitely think you will like this truck. And as I mentioned to you, man, it uh, does have a clean Carfax report. So this would be a one owner vehicle with no accidents. Um, and on top of that as well, when it comes to the inspection, I will send you the report. It is flawless. Um, now, any vehicle that you find that's, you know, 200,000 kilometers or 180 uh, that comes with a flawless inspection, it's pretty rare. Um, so, I mean, when, you know, kind of when you were asking about what you might need to do to this vehicle, you really wouldn't need to do anything because uh, the inspection is fully comprehensive and, and they do check the brakes and tires. And I was checking the tires and brakes, uh, the millimeter range, and they're very healthy. They're well, well above the passing grade. Um, so I'll definitely send you that uh, info off right away here, but hopefully you did like the walk around video, man. Give me a shout, 780-932-7597, and hopefully we can close this one up for you and uh, make this a nice and easy purchase, okay? Thanks so much. Bye.